I so imagine it was a, a good week after that win last Saturday. Yeah, it was a really good week. Obviously, it's always work, uh, best to work with after the win. But the boys, uh, I think they after Tuesday they forgot that that win and they just work making sure that we are ready for the next one. How do you keep that silly intensity uh, uh, and uh, that you showed that you had to show against a really good Doncaster side? How do you keep that going for this Saturday? Well, I think again it's always easier when uh, after a win to keep that intensity, to keep that motivation. And uh, like I said from from the beginning, the boys have been brilliant. They they know what we are doing, they believe in what we are doing and that's, I think it's the main thing. How much of a lift was it to get those first points early? Because you are changing an awful lot by your own admission. Yes, true. Uh, it's, it was a, a huge lift and again I think, like I said, it was good for everyone, for us, for the club, for the supporters. I think they played a big role on that, on that game as well. I know. First half we were one nil down. I think we started very well second half, and then they pushed us for the for the win. So uh, yes, that three points that just keep us in the, on the right track. I, I would say it's uh, it's that comfort I I, I say to keep us uh, on the on that way of, of building our our style and, and and keep improving. With a win like that, you're no longer going to be able to go under the radar, are you? You're you're not an unknown quantity now because people around the league will have seen the, that result? Yes, uh, again, like I said, it was a massive a massive win, definitely a good game up against a really good team. They've shown that last season, they will show this season for sure. Uh, but again, we, we see every game as, as it comes. Obviously, we know all the games are difficult. And uh, like I said, last right after the game, it's like we, are, we have to make sure we are every game at our best uh, otherwise, you're going to suffer. Uh, so um, we take every game as it comes, and, and we just make sure we are we are ready for each one of them. What are you expecting from Accrington Stanley? Yeah, I expect a, a tough team to beat. I think they they've, they probably didn't do as well as they thought the first game, but they 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 show up last one. So it's it's always going to be tough. We know that. Uh, just feel that we have to be in the right in, in the right position and uh, knowing that we have to be our at our best to make sure we we compete first and if we are, we are there anything can happen competing yeah yeah um, Kieran Brennan went into the back line thoughts no uh, I think I think probably is the his best position uh, Kieran is a is a center back obviously can play in the middle um, Yes, and I think he's done a good game, and uh, not only him. I think it's a, it's the team, and I think it worked quite well. Because you, as you say, you did try him in midfield as well. But does that mean in a three, as far as you're concerned, with Brennan? Or yes, I would say his his, his best position is definitely a, as a centre back. Uh, but obviously, he's shown that he's a quality player. He can play in the middle. But there are some details that probably the players perform better in different positions. Although they can they can obviously do two or three, but Brennan probably that's his best position, and uh, he showed last last game that uh, he's good on, on uh, as a centre back. Yeah. Um, do you have any knocks from last weekend, or do you have anybody available that you didn't have last weekend? No. Yes, we expect to have Bryn Morris back, uh, uh, Oliver Greaves, as well. So those two will be we are probably ready to to be part of the squad. After a win like that, do they have to be patient? Well, it depends. Again, as we still have one session to go, uh, and anything can happen. Uh, I would say not only him. Everyone, everyone at, at this club have to be have to be patient. We know what we are doing. Like I said, uh, the players know that, that their chance will come, and uh, and the ones who are playing, they know they they cannot they they, they cannot um, um, stop improving. They have to keep going and knowing that this level of competition within the squad is is something I look for uh, because it's one of the things that will improve everyone. Brim Morris was a, a key figure last season, scored goals, was dynamic in that midfield. What have you made of him and uh, 
you know, how has he had to fight to get back to this after the injury? No, he's, he's working hard, really, really hard. Um, he, looks, he looks sharp now, looks better. Um, and I know how important he is and how important he was in the past. And, but I think the main thing is how important he can be for the future. And uh, on regards to that, uh, I think he's, he will be important, definitely. Uh, he's working hard to reach the best, the best levels uh, he can get. Yeah, because you, you didn't lack dynamism last week, but he does add something, doesn't he? He does, yes. He's an experienced player, quality player. He knows the league, he knows the game, he knows the club, knows the, he knows the, uh, most of the, of the squad. And obviously, uh, he's someone who can understand the way I, I, I want to play as well, which is, which is great. So, uh, and he believes in it as well, so from, from what I've been speaking with him. So yes, I'm really looking forward for, to see him fully fit and helping the team. A couple more. I just want to ask you about Luke Jeffcott. Um, how do you keep him going? Because he's still looking for that elusive first goal, isn't he? Now Luke is an excellent, excellent character, excellent boy. He knows, he understands uh, what we are doing. He understands the, his role within the team. Um, and the way he works, uh, I am sure that chance will will come uh, sooner or later. Does he get down about it, or do you have to have a chat? No, with him? no. He's, he's a he's a like I said, he's an excellent boy. He works hard every day. Always stay behind to do little extras, and that shows what type of player and person he is. Um, and he he doesn't need uh, a push from from me to work hard, uh, which which is something. Uh, good because it say. can happen with strikers can't it sometimes they can go to a club and it works immediately it does take time uh, it does others. take time yes it does take time uh, but again it's, it's just the, the way he goes about things we go about things is just keep pushing keep improving keep keep believing it uh, and he's one of them he, he's like, like I said he just shows every day in the training session he's he's there wherever uh, and Whatever, for whatever the team needs. Just finally for me, the transfer window shuts on Friday. Will you be relieved or happy? Or Yeah, I think everyone is going to be relieved. It's a lot of things going always. Uh, uh, but um, yeah, I hope it, we're going to be happy. You know, uh, Like I said, we are, we are quite happy with everything we've got so far. Uh, we don't hide that we are still looking for one or two players uh, that we believe will improve the team, will give you, will give you, uh, me more solutions, uh, and uh, I think probably a little bit more balance as well. So uh, yes, I'm, I would be probably relieved and happy. But you're expecting at least some activity in the last week. Definitely, uh, we've got a couple of players obviously under our radar. Uh, we know. We know exactly what we are doing now. I think some of them is down to negotiations, which hopefully, maybe, probably will be happening this morning as well. So uh, we'll see. Can we expect to maybe see one or two leaving as well? Do you think? Or? Uh, at the moment, we are not thinking about nobody leaving. No. We are happy with everyone. Everyone is here. Of course, no. Like I said, we have got the squad. We believed was what what was possible for us. Uh, and uh, we are looking to add some, some other players, but again, you, you never know. Anything can happen, but that's not part of the plan. Can you tell us what areas you, you'd like to strengthen? Yeah, the, uh, middle of the park is always a, an area where I think every coach is looking to make sure he's, he's covered. Uh, but we feel like we need a, another player who can, do, who can be, bring a little bit more creativity and could play wide areas as well. So uh, it's always something we are exploring and making sure we, we don't lack that. Yeah. And is a striker still an option as well? Yeah, we, we just spoke about Luke and we've got CBR, we've got Bo Bobby, um, striker obviously, if, if something is, is we feel is right for us, is something that we probably will be looking at as well. Yeah. You always want more goals. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are, as a team, we are actually, I, I think we are doing quite well, to be fair. We've got uh, two games and we scored five goals, uh, but we are doing that as a team. I think it's always best 
to do that as a team, obviously. Uh, the, the better you do co uh, collectively, obviously the, the strikers will benefit from it. So, uh, yeah, more goals is always obviously something we are, we are looking for. And at the other end of the pitch, everyone at the back will be desperate for a first clean sheet, I guess. True, yeah. true. That's yeah. something that uh, it's also important, I, I, I feel. To have that feeling of, of keeping our goal down to zero, uh, and uh, the clean sheet is, is is something that gives us that confidence, that stability, um, and yes, we are yet to uh, to do that. Hopefully, ho hopefully in tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it, it did take a tremendous strike to beat to beat you on there. The it did. It did. It yeah. was from a movement where probably we we were expecting that. To be fair, uh, we didn't cover that area the way we we planned but fair play again you have to give credit to to good players and good teams and they are definitely one of them yeah. so is it is the message more of the same from the players and from the fans tomorrow against Accrington? yes i think i think we we should not move from from what we've been doing we we need everyone engaged we need the fans we need to keep believing it we need we need to keep pushing so the message, yes, is that the boys will be tomorrow uh, working hard on the pitch, making sure we we can win another game, and then that will probably be a, a big boost for for everyone yeah. for the future.